Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to build a countdown timer like this. And it'll be a green screen countdown timer, a chroma key. So you can put it on your video and you will only see the numbers counting down. Let's get into it. Okay, folks, here's the final product. And what do we have here? We have a background turned to a kind of a bright green color, which will allow us to actually minus that out when we use chroma key. And we have titles here set for one second. So we have 10 one second titles here, but back to back. So when you do play them, it will be theoretically a 10 second countdown. So let me go ahead and play for about one or two seconds. There we go. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. And you can put the text wherever you want. And you can choose whatever title you want. But uh, the idea is to find one that kind of suits you and that when it's set to one second, the number actually appears, you know, good enough, fast enough or uniquely enough that you actually like the way it looks. So let me just double click on one of these titles here. And you'll notice if I hit the I button over here, it's set to one second or 1.0. Double click on this one, go to the I again. That one is also set. So each one of these, you can see it here, 1.0 seconds. So for example, if I go over here and I stretch this, it's one right now, but it'll go longer. But you can actually get it to a point where you get it to one second. And theoretically, that'll be a one second title. And the next thing I wanna kind of focus on, double clicking before I actually build this for you, is you can kind of move the text around uh, based on what you click here, you can do center, left justified, right justified. And this, this actual video here, when you put it on your video, which I'll show in a second, it's going to be kind of set where it is. So maybe I would recommend you build a center one, a left one, a right one, maybe top right, top left, depending on where you actually think you're going to always want that, that counter to be. So um, I think for me, it would be center or top left or top right. So if I wanted a top left or top right, I have to grab the upper title here, bring this over here. Let's grab the upper, drag it here. Let's double click on it and click the I. Change that to 1.0. So we get it one second. And now it's on the top left corner. Let's just do 10. And I wanna get rid of the outline here. And I can actually increase the size of that if I want you know, to make it really big or whatever. You can do color and stuff like that too, but 10. So now this number is on the left side, top left top, but I could also center justify it or right justify it. So really with a upper, a middle and a lower using upper, the lower third, and just any one of the middle ones, you can actually kind of cover the whole screen. So let me go back to a project and kind of show you how it looks. So I just grabbed a piece of video here and I dropped this with green screen. And this is a center countdown here. And if you want to level it up one more layer up, you can add like a beep, beep. You'd have to go find a sound. And maybe you want to look in your audio video here for like beep. And you can get kind of a beep. And you can grab like, you know, a little section here and make it a beep or whatever. But anyways, so let's go ahead and build one of these things. I'll do a new project here, movie, and I'm just going to grab a background here. And what I did is I grabbed green. I stretch it out. It's set at four seconds right now. You can see when you hover at the little 4S. So let's just make it, let me make this smaller. Let's make it about 10 seconds long. There we go. Now I want to make it brighter so the color is not quite right. So I'm going to highlight it here, clicking on it. I'm going to go up to my color correction icon here, the second one from the left. I'm going to grab the saturation, just going to super saturate it. So that's kind of a green screen green. And now at this point, what I need to do is find the title that I like. So let's go ahead and do the upper one here. So I'm going to build one. And then after that, I'll just copy and paste it. So it'll be pretty straightforward. First thing, double click, go to your eye and We'll set it to one second, 1 1.0. Next thing, I'll double click it and I'm gonna change the font to maybe this one here, a heavy one. I'll take off that border here and let's just do 10. Okay, 
So now we have one title that's set for 10. Actually, let me make it a little bit bigger on the font size. Yeah, let's just do that. So this is one second, it's one title. So what you'll do is you'll click it to highlight it, make sure there's an orange border around it. You hold your command key and C to copy. Move the skimmer or mouse head or tape head here right next to it and then do command V, paste. All right, so get it right next to it, but don't, don't push too much because you'll start losing your time on it, yeah? If you go too much into it, you can see the time going down. But I'll just keep it right, right butted up against it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to try to keep everything one second. Then I'll move my tape head here and I'll do Command-V again. Command-V. I'll leave a little space. We'll tighten it up a little later. So we got 10. Let's double click on this one. We'll go in here, make it 9. Click on the checkbox to accept it. We'll go to 8. Double click on the next one. 7. 6. And now I'm going to start being more precise here. So let's get these budding right up against each other. And the good thing is once you build this and you save it off, anytime you need a timer, you can just import this into your video. So that's kind of cool. That's what that's the that's what I'm going for here. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. I need one more. Control Command V. And make that one. And if you need a zero, you can do a zero too. Okay. So let's play it now. Ready? Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that is your timer. Now what you're gonna do here is, let's go ahead and find a, a beep sound or a buzz sound. Yeah, there we go, clock tick. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is use the I key for in. I'm gonna put it right before this sound. And then right after it, I'm gonna type in the O key. So that's the out key. Then we're gonna drag this down and put it right on the mark there for each time where it changes the number to kind of simulate, you know, it's actually a timer. And we'll, we'll listen to see how that sounds, of course. And once you get it down here and you have it laid out, you can kind of play it and mess around with how and where and, you know, how loud, how quiet you want these actual sounds to be. Of course, there's faster ways, but I'm going to do the, the manual slow brute force while I talk it out here. And I might even add just one at the end, why not, All right? So when I play this, I'll hear a tick every time it changes. And that's that clock tick. And that sounds actually pretty good. I'm gonna put one more at the front here. So when your viewers are actually hearing that countdown, they hear it at the beginning and they hear it at the end. Oh yeah, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> and if you want to get really fine detail and uh, put it perfectly, which you might want to do, I would bump up the size of it here and then I would actually expand the clip itself. And then we can kind of look exactly where those, those timers are, right? Right where it clicks. So I would aim for the gap. That's when that number is going to display. So. We'll see it right about there. And this one can be, this one can start wherever it, it wants to. So I'm trying to get that gap right there where the yellow peak is. Yeah, there we go. That sounds pretty good. Okay. And now once you're all finished, you could basically, you just export it. If you have it where you want, you have your numbers counting down correctly. One second each, you have your time, you have that location and it's super kind of fluorescent -y green screen here. We can do a, an export. So let's do that. We'll go to export file and we'll just call it 10 second left side count down. And let me go ahead and set these, these settings here. I'll do 1080 P60. We'll do high and we'll do better quality and we'll export it. Do it to the desktop. That sounds good. So let's go ahead and save that and watch the countdown thing timer here at, at the top right corner. Okay, it's done. So let's go, let's go ahead and open it up and have a listen. Oh, this is good. This is good. That actual adding that little bit of a sound clip in there makes it really, really sound authentic and cool. So now let's go ahead and pull this little uh, piece of video into a movie and we'll, uh, have a, a look at it and I'll show you how to actually do it so you don't see the green screen, you only see the number. 
So we'll go ahead and open iMovie back up. And let me go back into, uh, we'll go to this one here and I'll delete this timer here. So you have a clip in your timeline, your movie clip. And we're actually going to import from our desktop our 10 second left side countdown climber. Timer, not climber. <laughs> And we're going to import this 10 second left side countdown timer, the one that we put the audio sound, the sound effects in it. All right, it's right here. So now we'll drag it on top and we'll make sure our video is long enough to cover that whole thing. Like right there. Okay. So now with the top clip selected, right now it's green. You don't see the bottom clip below it. We're going to have to go up to our layers thing here. Click here. Go over to your left, the drop down on your left here, and we'll go to green slash blue screen. Bam. Now we have an invisible countdown timer. There we go. So that's basically how you would create your countdown timer in iMovie. Put your numbers where do you want them. The timing, make sure it's, you know, one second each title clip here. So, you know, one, two, there's all these right here. Have that screen here, have that background here that you got from your backgrounds right here. You dragged it into your timeline. You went to the second icon, the little painter's easel thing here, and you ramp up your saturation right here, all the way to the right so it's brighter. Go to your title screen, grab whichever title you like. Maybe we'll do centered. You can either drag it from the left over to get to your timing or you double click on it, click on the eye here, and you can actually set it to 1.0, so that's one second. Double click on it, add your numbers. You know, it could be five seconds. Decide on the font that you want. You want typewriter font. Maybe you want the outline, maybe you don't. Maybe you want it bold, maybe you don't. Make, whenever it's highlighted, you can actually, you know, make them however you like them to be. You can change that color to, you know, yellow or blue, pink, whatever color you want. And then export that out and name it. <laughs> Definitely name it so you remember. That way when you when you want to make your video here, you can just import it in and you have your timer ready to go. You can drop it wherever you want. So that's basically how you make your own little timer with sound effects this time. Again, if you don't want the sound effects, you know, don't go that extra step and put them in there. But I think it's probably a good idea to have that little timer thing there. It makes it sound really good with that little click, click, click. And again, I just went to the audio video icon tab up here and just typed in clock. And I got that clock tick right there. So I kind of selected by using the I key and the O key, which is the setting your endpoint point and your out point. So put your mouse cursor wherever you want it. You type I on your keyboard, move it over and then type O. At that point, you can just drag it down anywhere you need it to be. Well, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope that kind of helped. Somebody was asking how to do a timer in iMovie, and I figured, you know, let's just create one. That way we can import it into any movie we want from here on out. And again, you know, decide if you want how many seconds you want. You want to, Maybe you want to build a five-second one and a ten-second one, or a three, two, one. You can add an explosion sound at the end. You can do whatever you want. So it's pretty customizable. Build it once. Use it many times if you use that green screen functionality. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Peace and aloha.